I'm trying to turn him to his left, but all I'm really trying to do is get him to fight his right hip down, and then it's gonna go right to his back, all right? So, this is where we start setting traps. This is where we start trying to trick the guy, okay? I'm gonna get him to fight to the left, and maybe I've gotten that, that little leg swing, helicopter, kind of Turk, uh, leg Turk in the first period, I and mean, he felt it. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't ever turn anybody that, but I use it as my setup. Okay, so double thigh cry jam, boot comes in, standing up, snake right here. Right to my ankles, cross knees wide. Where's all the weight right now? Oh, where's all the weight right now? On my knees, okay? All the weight is on my knees. He can take a nap right now. He's not in any kind of pain. On his hip. Yeah, you heard that. That's not fun. Imagine being second period, minute in, you're already starting to get a little tired, and then you feel that. And then you feel that for the rest of the period. All right? He's going to start trying to find a way out. All right? When they start panicking is when we start going to work. If they're not panicking, we're still going to go to work. All right? So now, his, his, his hands are going to start coming out in front of him. He's going to try to start fighting a strong position and leg defense and all that stuff. All right, so the minute I break him down and his hands come out in front, okay, I'm gonna come, my leg hand side, I'm gonna attack his fingers. My leg hand side, I'm gonna attack his fingers. I'm just relaxing my legs right now so I don't beat him up too much. All right, I'm gonna come across his body and attack his fingers, okay? And I'm just gonna attack his fingers and secure them, and then my other hand is gonna come in and we're gonna pull this wrist in right here, okay? I'm essentially gonna grab his wrist and then grab my own wrist, okay? But I'm gonna pull his fingers in so I can get his arm close. So I still got my leg right in. I'm gonna attack his fingers, pull his wrist in, work both hands to this wrist, and then I'm gonna grab my own wrist right here and pull his wrist in, okay? So I wanna control this wrist. Now, this same position, I'm gonna use it as my power half tilt. Okay, I'm gonna use it as my power half tilt. So where we would have come in and control this wrist right here, pull it in and got that two on one, we're gonna go to the back of his head and grab his fingers. Okay, we're gonna go to the back of his head and grab his fingers. Then we're just gonna pull this wrist in right here and I'm gonna grab my own wrist. See how I have like his wrist and then I have my own wrist. My forehead's on the back, my forearm's on the back of his head. Now, I'm gonna get to this position right here and I'm just gonna kinda give this arch. Then when he fights that right hip down here, I'm just gonna snatch him back, okay? Now, you're saying, coach, you've been yelling at us about being on our hip the whole morning. Why are you on your hip right now? When I go away from my leg ride, I don't wanna be on my hip. When I go to my leg ride, I can go to my hip, but I have to figure for my legs. Belly down. See how I got his hip blocked out with my leg ride? I'm not, I'm not really controlling his upper body. Okay, I have his hip locked out with my leg ride. Okay, if I just have my ankles crossing my knees wide, he'll be able to get his hip down. If I have my legs figure forward, all right, it's a little bit tougher. Plus, when I have my power half tilt, I just bring it to my chest right here. Get my two, get my three, whatever count I can get, whatever near fall I can get. Then, again, I talked about it yesterday, top hand, when he bellies down, come right back on top, but well, watch this. right back into my next turn, okay? You see how we can start just letting his fight dictate what side I'm gonna turn him to, all right? But we're gonna do our power half tilt first, all right? So forearm's gonna go to the back of the head. I'm gonna attack the wrist. I like attacking the fingers first, but you can go ahead and attack the wrist. Then you're grabbing your own wrist, pulling it in nice and tight, all right? Double side right jam. All the way down, ankles crossed. Okay, those hands start coming out in front. I'm going forearm to the back of the head. All right, again, I'm on my knees right now in a match, man, I'm here. I'm burying him to the mat. Get that wrist to me right here, whether I go get fingers and pull it in and work, I'm coming under and I'm grabbing my own wrist. Okay, I'm coming under and I'm grabbing my own wrist. And then again, I'm right here on the back of his head and I'm arching. I want him to fight that right hip down. When that right hip fights, I snatch everything back towards my chest and I figure for my legs, okay, right here. And then again, when I'm ready for him to belly down, I change the top hand. Everybody see that? 
change the top hand so this hand can start working as he's bellying down. It can come up under the chin, make him start looking away. Watch my leg ride. He goes from figure four, back to knees wide, boom, back to my arch, then I can start turning to the opposite side, okay? And I'll show you a bunch of different moves to the right, a bunch of different moves to the left, and then you'll just pick and choose which ones you want to use.